Hi guys. All right, so today's video is inspired by kitchen sink stamps. And um, they had posted a post with these cute little teddy bears in um, Pilgrim's outfits. And I was like, I don't have those Pilgrim stamps. So I reached out and the Pilgrim stamps are actually um, SVG files. And an SVG file is exactly what you're seeing here. Um, that I'm pulling off my mat. They are little files that are pre, um, basically cut files that you can use with your electronic cutter. In my case, I am using my Silhouette, do I have the two, Cameo 2? I think I have the Cameo 2. Um, so I'm just pulling them off of my non, not as sticky mat here. I just got this one. Seems to be working out pretty good so far. All right, and what I want to do is color these in. Now, when it comes to the mat, you want to make sure that you kind of keep it dust-free, lint-free, things like that. So I will put the plastic that it came with back on it and put it away in the cabinet. Um, these are the other files that I cut with it. So you, these go in coordination with the teddy bear stamp. Um, this is called Teddy Bear Wishes. You can see right here, and it is a layered stamp. So he's going to look very 3D when we cut him out. Let me just pop out all of the rest of these pieces here. And we'll show you how this works. I was also going to do pumpkins, and honestly, I just forgot. So we won't worry about that right now. So in these little pieces, there are shoes, buckles, hats, um the whole little outfit to make a girl and a boy pilgrim. I cut out four bears and four outfits because I thought Miss Leah would like to color some with me, but she said she doesn't want to, so that's fine. So we'll see how we do here. Okay, I'll get the rest of these out later. Let me see if I can get these bears out. I used a pretty heavy duty, um, Cardstock. This is the um, Nina Solar Weight, like extra heavy cardstock. So you really want to slow down the speed on your cutting machine and make sure that I always do a double cut. And this is why, because it doesn't always cut through with um, heavy, heavy cardstock. You have to have the right settings. So, oops. And that's why I cut multiples, because in case you rip an ear off, like I almost just did, I can't have an earless bear. Okay, we're just going to use this guy. Hopefully this will be good enough in order to save some time here. I'm using my purple mat, which is like a stamping mat, just because these are photopolymer stamps. And I'm not going to be using, well, I wasn't planning on using my Misty, I was just going to um, color these guys and try to freehand stamp him. So we'll see how this goes. And then I'll bring up the picture on my phone so you guys can see exactly what I'm working with. But let's start with this this guy here. I did rip his ear on the back side here. But it's on the back, so we'll be okay. All right, let me grab some boys. He's three layers, so we're just going to use these Stampin' Up! inks that I have. The first one is Sahara Sand. And again, use what you have. And we are going to start with... Now, you can go 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, whatever you want to do here. I'm just going to start with level 1, number 1, which is the most solid layer. And we want to use the lightest brown for that. And of course, you can use your stamp positioning tool if that makes it easier. But because he's already die cut out with the SVG file, all I have to do really is just look through the stamp 
and ink him up. Now I will apologize right now if my head gets in the way. Okay, pretty good coverage for layer number one. When you purchase the SVG files, it comes with the accessory um, as well. So the accessory on him is the little heart. So you will get the little heart. Here it is right here. That SVG comes with it. Okay, so we're going to go in with the next color brown, which I believe is crumb cake. And layer number two on our little bear. Again, I line up the legs and then the outline of the, oops, the outline of him, like his arms and all of that good stuff. Okay, number two, he gets that kind of fuzzy look. And then layer three, he's going to have even more of a fuzzy look. Great stamp set for baby showers. You know, if you wanted to do a pink bear, if you wanted to do a blue bear. Um, again, whatever you want to do with it. Number three, we are using soft suede. A little bit darker brown. Now you can see some of the features in his face. So he's really fuzzy looking, realistic looking. And now the last stamp is just to do his face. I'm going to move to a little bit smaller block here so I have a little more control. And I'm going to go in with some black ink here. And this is going to do his face as well as his paw. So right here on his paw, his face, and I believe a little shadow there under his ear. And all you do is you line that up. I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see. And maybe have to stick my head in the way. Maybe I can go over here. And you really want to line up as best you can the eyes, the nose, the little shadows in the ears, and the paw. And I am going to try to do this without sticking my head in there. Oh, pretty good. Not bad. That's pretty much it. He's really easy to stamp out. There are some cute sentiments in with him as well. I love you very much. I miss you. Wishes. Thanks. Friend. Dad. Very best. Mom. Dad. Little hearts, like I said. So an all-around favorite. And there's cute little accessory stamps you can get with him. Um, okay, so now that he's done, we don't want to leave him naked. We want to make him a pilgrim. Okay, so we can move this out of the way. So these other SVG files that I have cut out, these are the clothes. So let me get my phone. My phone is now missing. And let me show you what I'm looking at here. Hold on. And if you're not following kitchen sink stamps, um, fans of kitchen sink stamps, um, kitchen sink stamps, multi-step stamping fans, go on Facebook and you can see this is the picture here. It is so cute. Look at their little clothes. So we're going to color this in. We'll do this little guy here um, and see what we can get it to look like. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that out as my inspiration. Try to figure out what goes where. Now this is the little neck piece. This is the woman's, cause it's rounded, or the little girl. For him, we have his hat. And just trying to figure out what goes where here. 
these are his little shoes. And the shoes, everything has little buckles to go with it. There are these tiny little pieces here, which are buckles. There's his belt. And we have a buckle for his belt. The tiny buckle is for the belt. Come on, fingers. Tiny, tiny. Anyway, that's the buckle. We'll color it in and then we'll glue it in place. And then we have shoe number one and we have another buckle for the shoes we have a buckle for the hat we have a strap for the hat this goes on the hat Ugh, everything's sticking to my fingers all right we got the hat we have a buckle for the hat there we need his collar which is the square collar goes like this we have his belt we have one shoe we have a buckle for his shoe and then is there another shoe yes there's this shoe which is kind of facing outward and then there should be another tiny buckle for that shoe okay I think we have all little pieces I gotta tell you I don't think I ever played paper dolls when I was a kid so this is gonna be a new adventure for me <laughs> So you guys can see all of that and you can use whatever you have you know markers copic markers i just happen to have a brand new set of markers sent to me from parku colors i will link them for you guys oftentimes companies will ask me if i want to participate in something i don't always say yes but um Actually, I was looking for a set of markers for Leah for school projects. She often does, you know, posters and they paint masks and stuff like that. And I didn't want her using any of Mommy's Copic markers, if you know what I mean. So this is a nice set of 36 alcohol markers. Think about Sharpie markers or Bic markers, things like that. And I want to tell you guys the price was dirt cheap. I would I would think they were $11. I'm also going to have a discount code for you guys. So I'll look that up and I'll link that for you guys. So we're just going to use these because we want simple coloring. I like the um, case that they came in. Nice variety of colors here. So I'm just going to grab the black marker. I'm going to start coloring away here. I don't really want to color on my mat. So I'm going to move my little guy aside here. And sorry for the glare. Let me move the light off a little bit. We will color right here. And what's nice is because we are on the Tim Holtz mat, um, anything that gets on the mat will come right off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. So the feel of these markers is exactly like Sharpie markers. Um, the look is exactly like Sharpie markers. They color exactly like Sharpie markers. These have a nice fine tip on them. So you can use the side edge if you want thicker coloring, but they have a fine tip on the end. Um, but yeah, I was uh, really happy that this company sent these to me and I'm like, hey, I could use these on project. Actually, Leah did a project. She was gonna show me. Leah, I wanna go get your mask for me real quick. Um, there's two colors of gray here. And of course you can always swatch your markers out before you color. So there's our hat. I'm gonna go in with, this is the little strap around the hat. So we're gonna color this in a darker gray. Great set for those of you looking to have craft supplies in your home for your kids or your grandkids that are coming to visit or if you want to get them something, I know a lot of us have family members that are just starting in this hobby. Um, as you guys know, I started this for my stepchildren. And um, I don't know that I would want to spend $100 on Copic markers for somebody who say, eh, I want to try it. I don't know that it's something I ne necessarily want to do, but I want to try it. It's a good way to get cheap alcohol markers. And that's exactly what alcohol markers are, are these markers right here, you know. 
Okay, so then we have a little golden yellow here for our Probably just did all of them. Let me do his two shoes, two shoes buckles. All right, I'm gonna grab my little pokey tool to kind of hold it in place. I could use like a little sticky mat. Oh, some of that Ranger uh, temporary adhesive stuck down on here would have been a great idea. Why didn't I think of that sooner? This one needs to be flipped over. So those are our buckles. We want to leave his little smock. I don't know what you call that. Pretty white. So I think we'll just go in with some really super light, light gray maybe. Do we even need gray? Let's see here. How light is our gray? That's a little too dark gray. I'm going to leave the gray out of it. Okay, so his belt and everything else is also dark gray and black. So we're just gonna cut it, color his belt and his shoes. Now, there's no names or color codes on these. Again, these are a lesser um, price brand marker. Pretty sure they're made in China, although I will tell you, they, when they contacted me, um, was a couple days ago, I got these markers within two days of them saying that they had shipped, which really surprised me. So here is a mask that Leah used these to color on. And if she would have done this with like regular crayons or regular markers, this one she had previously done with regular markers and then colored on it because the colors had faded out. But here you can see how much more vibrant these markers are. And again, they're permanent. So great for her and her little reindeer. Thank you. Um, and little projects like this, you know, I don't want to get my Copics out and get them. Or, you know, big thing right now is everybody's stamping on those little... Um, what are you calling those things? Those little wooden, the wooden, um, shoot, what are they called? Ornaments? Little uh, slices of wood that are doing their ornaments. I think Arteza sells them. You can find them on Amazon. Um, I just blended that, and that actually looks pretty good. And um, we do rock painting, so these markers would come out handy for that, too. All right, let me do his little shoes, and then we can piece our little guy together here. And I think I want to do the same thing and. Now, I will say these lids aren't staying on the backs of the markers. Not a big deal for me. I mean, for $11, $12 markers, not a big deal. Real quickly coloring these in using the darkest of the, the two grays. There's a lighter gray and a darker gray. And then again, if you wanted to go in with a little black, A little shadow there you can do that and then I noticed when I did the belt that they blended out pretty well yep that's me dinging sorry Now, of course, you could have cut these out of black paper as well. You don't have to color them in, but that took me no time at all. All right, now let's assemble. I do have a new May May's Art Glitter Glue. Um, I did put a little like fine tip thing on the end here and a little neat, uh, pin to stick in there to keep it from clogging. So I think this should be pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna start with his hat. And I'm gonna assemble his hat first. So I'm gonna do and try to stay in screen for you guys. I'm gonna do the little ribbon around his hat. I'm 
Might need to get some little tweezers here. Okay, and that goes curve upwards. And I'm gonna grab some stamping blocks as well that we can put some weight on these things and keep them flat while they're gluing. Although this glue drives very, very quickly, so once it's down, it's gonna set quickly. So we'll do that, and then while we're putting some glue, where's my little tiny little tweezers here? Got to see the stepkids yesterday. One is home from college. Um, so we won't see them again until Christmas, but we went out to dinner last night. So that was nice seeing how much they've grown. And Leah gets to spend time with her siblings. So that was a nice time. Did that. Leah and I went and saw Frozen 2. That was really good. All right, now on his little neck piece, this piece here where it kind of curves up, that you want to keep on the right side because that's going to go up and look like it's going up over his shoulder. See right there? And again, you could go in with some gray markers and put some shadow in there if you wanted to. Now for his hat, I think we just want to put a little glue on his head, just a little bit right here on the top. Keep going back and referencing the picture to make sure that I am putting it in the right place. Cute. Okay. Let's do his little belt. I don't think I've ever done a video like this where I've colored and assembled anything. I normally don't do anything like this that takes time but this was just too cute had to have it had to share with you guys uh oh am i missing a buckle i am i need to do one more buckle that's okay okay so we're gonna pop this center out This is something Leah definitely will enjoy doing later on. She's just engrossed on her little YouTube channels right now. Okay, and then for his shoes, we find one more tiny little buckle to color. And then it's the same thing with the little girl. You just um, you just put the other clothing on her. Like her bonnet is a rounded bonnet instead of a square like hat. And her little apron, everything's pretty much all white. So you don't really have to color much with her. I don't think it really matters which direction or little buckles go in. You just kind of color them and glue them in place. I will say having the little tweezers does help. And having a fine tip glue applicator also helps. Okay, 
I don't need to look again. How did this little shoe go? Buckle. Okay, so it just kind of goes on the top here. Kind of like that. Okay. And then we want to glue. Thought I was done gluing. We want to glue this shoe on. Put it right over his little foot there. And there we have our cute little ping pilgrim teddy bear. Oh my gosh. So what I will do is I will finish off Little Miss. Like I said, you can head on over to fans of Kitchen Sink Stamps, Kitchen Sink Stamps fans, and you will see this card is on there. Um, and you can see how everything's laid out, which is what I copied from. You can also get from the Kitchen Sinks website the basket, the apples, and the pumpkins. Those are all different stamp sets as well. But for this one, all you need is the teddy bear stamp set which again is called um, Teddy Bear Wishes, and then you want to get the SVG file for the teddy bear, or you can fussy cut it. The SVG file does make it a lot easier, and then you can get the Pilgrim Outfit um, SVG file, color them, and put them together yourself. So super cute. If you have any questions about anything I used, I will link the products down in the descriptions for you. Once again, thanks for watching, guys, and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.